Hey guys, this is Jamrin guys. So tutorial 64 material design mockup challenge 4. In this tutorial, we are going to create material design for our project. Let's create a dashboard like this. I'll click on allow. I'll give the download link in the description below. You can download it. Now let us stop our build process. Now let us go to our shared code. Here we are going to insert our scroll view so that whole our content will be scrolled up as well as down. Here this is my stack layout having a padding property of 10, spacing of 10. Now here I am going to define 5 grid rows for my 5 uh, contents where grid are level from 0 to 4 and then now we are going to define frame of padding 0 and we will put our grid columns inside the frame you can see over here where I have defined two grid columns it's 0 as well as 1 inside grid 0 I am going to place an image of source and then another of content so for that image you should properly define the image size that can be done in Photoshop as well as uh, Sketch app that I have already defined in my uh, tutorial 62-63. You can go and have a look over there how to do that. Now for this tutorial I am just simply using Photoshop. You can see over here and this image size is you can download any image and edit its size using Photoshop using free transform. Here you can transform whole image its weight as well as height this is my next image now we are going to add those images inside the resources folder of both android as well as ios here i have created images that are going to be used that is by sketch app this is my another image that will open it in photoshop now here we will give a free transform and its size is same as that of others let us minimize it. These are the images that I have generated from Sketch app for different screen size. This is my iOS images. Let us drag and drop images that are required inside our project. Now let us quickly move it to one side. I'll select all images that are going to be placed inside my resources folder of iOS project. For Android, we are going to add all those images inside the resources folder. I have already inserted all those images that are required for my project for different screen sizes. Now let us go to our project. Here I am placing stack layout in my grid column 1. This is my stack layout which is having a padding of 10. I will define a label text as anything as you like, giving horizontal text alignment as start font size small text color as black and for that label i have given formatted text formatted string as span of text is equals to something as you like and then font size of micro and after that i have introduced some box view with gray color and then at last i have added button with text color as white border radius as 30 if somebody wants to add command for those button i have introduced some command property as bindable one and then giving text as, as anything you may like and then font size as small and all those stack layout will be placed inside the grid and which will be covered by that frame that's all now we are going to copy and paste all those frame one by one as you can see over here this is my second frame here I am doing small trick is that column 0 will be introduced on first position and first column will be introduced on 0th position now we are going to repeat all those process till our grid row 5. Let me scroll it horizontally so that you can see. This is my frame second. This is my frame third. And then this is my frame fourth. And then fifth respectively. That's all for this tutorial now. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for next tutorials.